me and Lily here, and the sun is shining, and it feels so good. It feels so good. The sun is shining. <sighs> huh. Yup. 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 I slept really, really good last night. Um, I woke up thinking I was going to be super motivated, but my whole body just needed to curl into bed and cry. And it was like, didn't even know why I was crying. And I just started laughing. And then I was like angry. And then I started laughing and I was like, wow, I'm a, I'm a crazy person. I'm like, no, I'm embodying my emotions. I'm ready for this new shift. I am ready for what the universe has for me, what I've put in store for me and like let's go right and then the sun was out and i was like ah oh, this is beautiful and so i'm just really just coming on here to share that we all have days where it's a little bit harder to get out of bed we all have days it's a little bit harder to be motivated to show up right and me my my work is in between the two worlds the spirit worlds and the physical reality and so I, and part of my quote unquote mission here is to shift the fear paradigms of the collective. And with that, I am part of the shift. So I feel all of the waves of emotions and rather than judging myself, I allow them to pass through. And that's also why I support people in crossing over, people that are stuck. Um, I'm building a course, The Joy Code, which helps people shift from fear-based perspectives into more love, into more harmony. And so I've been able to comfort myself and to nurture myself for my mission here and realize that what a beautiful, powerful space to be in to be able to feel all of the ebbs and flows of emotions in the collective and zoom out perspectively and not shame anyone and kind of see why everyone's acting the way the fuck they're acting. But that also means that I need to love self more. I need to set more boundaries. I need to go with what feels best for my soul and to not beat myself up on the days where I feel stuck or I feel lost because I'm aware that if I feel this way, then the collective is also feeling this way and so I just need to allow that to flow. I need to allow that to pass and then embody whatever joy frequency I need to embody to support that shift. Because not only am I here to shift the fear perspective of the collective, I'm also here to share the joy, right? And I am a body of light, just like you and you and you and you and you. And that's a powerful space to be in once you really understand what that means. And I'm meeting more and more because that helps me become more personal with the people that I work with. Because if I'm not going to teach something, I'm not going to put myself into a situation to share the word of something if I haven't first experienced it. So it's pretty badass that I chose to come here to experience all these interesting feelings and meet all of these interesting people and be able to connect to these other spiritual realms to really support the human collective. And I'm learning the difficulty in continuing to trust the process when it comes to owning a business and navigating your own life um, and all the ebbs and flows of that but when I step back and I'm like I look at it with curiosity and excitement it makes a big difference and I encourage you moving forward to every day just kind of look zoom out and look at your current situation in the world and you, you, and see, why did I choose this? What am I here to learn? What am I here to create? Because you are a creator being. You just have to be conscious about it. And we're creating all the time. Like, it's not just being an artist and, like, drawing and painting and coloring. Like, we're creating with thoughts. We're creating with our hands. Everything we touch, we're creating some type of energetic frequency. Because we are energy. And... So give yourself more credit and zoom out and see, wow, this is interesting. What am I here to experience? What is this that I'm feeling? Is this mine or is this not, right? And if you're interested in really having a safe container to shift, to learn more about yourself, to dive into you, reach out. I offer Soul Alchemizing Coaching. It's a powerful, powerful transformational container. Um... 
and I would love to work with you to support you because each one of us individually needs to take accountability for self and have compassion for self, which can then vibrate out to change the world around us. We can't just expect the world to change if we're not changing ourselves. And so we're meant to change, right? And I believe that everyone here has the ability and the capability to change once you understand what tools you have and that are available to you that we were never taught. So give yourself credit, give yourself a freaking hug and enjoy the sunshine if it's, if it's shining wherever you are when you're watching this. Reach out with anything you need um, and please subscribe to this channel and share it. I love you. I'm here for you. You got this.